Hello, welcome to the Comp 1511 Structs recap video. So today I'm going to be talking about how to define a struct, how to declare a struct, and how to initialize one. But before we go on and talk about that, let's quickly recap what a struct actually is. So, so far in this course, you've been working with data types that are predefined, like integers, doubles, and characters. A struct is a user-defined data type which is a collection of items of the data types you've already been working with put together under a new name. So there are many reasons uh, why you might want to group different items together, like a struct lets you do. So a good analogy is my wallet over here. So putting all my cards and coins in a wallet makes it a lot easier for me to find things and carry my stuff around compared to if I had to hold everything inside separately. So. Um, now that we have an idea of what a struct is, I'm going to talk about how you're going to define a new data type in the form of a struct. So in this example here, I've created a da new data type struct location to hold information about the coordinates of a location and the user's rating of it. So to define a struct, the first thing I need is this keyword struct, followed by a meaningful name for the struct data type, and this can be whatever you want. So in this case, I've chosen location. Then, inside these curly brackets, we define what we call the fields of the struct, containing the data type and the name. So notably, the data types of the fields don't have to be the same. So I've included two doubles representing the x and y coordinates um, of a location and an int field uh, for my rating. Structs can also have instances of other structs as well. Um, but not themselves. So if you think about it, if you consider this wallet as a struct and you consider my bag over here as a struct, I can have this struct contain this struct. And then finally, uh, don't forget to include the semicolon, otherwise your computer will scream at you and your program won't compile. So now let's talk about using the defined data type in a program. So here I've defined my struct, struct location, and I'm placing this uh, struct definition before and outside of my main function. This lets you access the definition anywhere in the program. If I want to use this data type, what I'm going to have to do is create an instance of it by declaring a new variable of that type. So I want to create a variable called UNSW and I want its type to be struct location. So let's go struct location UNSW. So note here that this is the name of my variable and this is the name of the data type. The same way if I wanted to declare a variable of type integer called number, I'll type in int number. This UNSW is the name of the variable, the same way number is the name of this variable, and struct location is the type, the same way int is the type of this variable. So right now, um, although I've declared my UNSW variable, none of the fields of the struct actually contain any meaningful data right now. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to initialize all the fields of the struct, so initialize these fields of the struct by assigning them a value. So in order to access the fields of the struct, what I'm going to need to do is type the name of the struct variable I've created, so in this case it's UNSW, followed by a dot, and then the name of the field of that struct. So if I want to access the x coordinate of my UNSW struct, I'm going to type UNSW.x coordinate and I'm going to assign it a value. And since I have absolutely no idea what UNSW's x coordinate is, I'm just going to make up a random number. And I'm going to do the same for the y coordinate and UNSW's rating. So, now that I've initialized the fields of the struct, I can treat these like I would any variable. So, for example, if I want to print the value of UNSW's x coordinate um, or UNSW's rating, I can do that here. So, I'm going to print UNSW's rating. Mm -hmm. 
So now if I compile and run my program, let's see what happens. It prints out 10. Um, I can also create more variables of the same type. So if I wanted to create another variable of type struct location, I can do so here. And if I want to access and initialize the fields, I'll do it the same way um, as I did up here. So uh, that's a quick recap of structs. So today we covered what a struct is, how to define a struct, how to declare a struct, and then how to initialize it and use it. So hopefully um, that helped and you've got a good idea of what structs are in the context of COM1511.